In the previous video, we showed how to generate absolute ligand binding systems with a membrane bilayer for free energy calculation. In this demo, we will use the same adenosine A2A G protein coupled receptor with PDBID 3PWH and 3 ligands. So all the steps up to the ligand uploading step are the same as in the previous video, except that we start with the relative ligand binder in the free energy calculator submenu. Choose bilayer for system type and enter the RCSB ID 3PWH. Then follow the same steps as in the previous video up through the lipid selection page. When membrane assembly is complete, we begin the ligand binding steps. On this page, we upload the same three undocked MOLTU ligand files as in the previous video demo. You can find these files by clicking the link in the video description. As mentioned in the previous video, the chemical structures of compound 1,1 and 4,1 have different ring scaffolds, with one having a nitrogen in the six-membered ring and the other not. This decreases the perturbation quality during free energy simulation and results in free energy values that are inconsistent with experimental results. To obtain the relative free energy of dissimilar ligands, use absolute ligand binder, then manually calculate the relative free energy of each ligand by pairwise subtraction of one ligand energy from each other. For this video, to avoid perturbation paths with dissimilar ligands, we upload the three undocked MOL2 ligand files for compounds 1, 1, 2, 5A, and 2, 5B for this closed path. The ligand ZMA will not be used for the relative free energy calculation, so you should not use a radial perturbation path as this option uses ligand 1, ZMA, as the central ligand. Instead, choose the minimal perturbation path and click next to view the ligand pair options. On this page, you can see that ligand 1, ZMA, is not clustered with the other ligands due to the large difference from the uploaded ligands. However, it is still connected because it has the same net charge. We can also see this in the similarity score matrix, as all pairs involving ligand 1 have a note telling us that the similarity scores to other ligands are close to half. Please remove the pair containing ligand 1 by clicking the minus button. Now we have three pairs consisting of three uploaded ligands. This closed perturbation path can be used to check the convergence of the results of the three relative free energy calculations. In the input generation options, we will choose NAMD, then click Next. As you download your project archive, make sure to read the simulation instructions on the final page. In the downloaded project directory, we have a NAMD directory for our NAMD simulation inputs. Inside that directory, there is a readme file demonstrating how to run NAMD FEP Lambda Remedy simulation. 